Decoration Day be celebrated on May 30th. Later becoming what we now know as Memorial Day, this date was chosen specifically because it was not the anniversary of a major battle, and it was the perfect time of year for flowers to be in bloom. These flowers would decorate the graves of all Americans who died during military service. Memorial events were held in 183 cemeteries in 27 states in 1868 and grew to 336 ceremonies in 1869. These ceremonies were sponsored by the Women's Relief Board, which had about 100,000 members, made up of mothers, sisters, wives, and widows of fallen soldiers. I sleep inside the cannon's mouth, the captain cries here comes. Seek to find me north and south. I've gone to find my angel love. The field is cut and leads to rest. The cannon balls fly round my head. In is designated for the purpose of strewing with flowers or otherwise decorating the graves of comrades who died in defense of their country during the late rebellion and whose bodies now lie in almost every city and village and hamlet and churchyard in the land. In this observance, no form of ceremony is prescribed the posts and comrades will in their own way arrange such fitting services and testimonials of respect as circumstances may permit. Let no wanton foot read rudely on such hallowed grounds. Let pleasant paths invite the coming and going of reverend visitors and found mourners. Let no vandalism have avarice of neglect, no ravages of time testify to the presence of the coming generations that we have forgotten as a people the cost of a free and undivided republic. If other eyes grow dull and other hands slack and other hearts cold and solemn trust, I shall keep it well as long as the light and warmth of life remains in us. If our commanders will use every effort to make this order effective, General John A. Logan, Grand Army of the Republic,
Today is a solemn day set aside to honor the ultimate sacrifice paid by our nation's military for our freedom. This freedom allows us to be anything we want to be, to follow our hearts, dreams, and pursue our happiness. We can no longer shake the hands of these men and women in thanks, and we do not want their lives taken for granted. So how do we do this? How do we honor our fallen heroes? We honor them by making this country something worth dying for. How do we do this? Each one of us were given a unique set of talents in order to make a difference. And if we use these talents every day to the best of our ability, it redeems their sacrifices. You could be an actor, teacher, lawyer, even a friend. If we keep this in mind and act upon it, we are in turn honoring those who have made sacrifices. But if we do not keep them in our hearts every day, their memory fades. We do not want to have to lose any lives in the name of freedom, but if losing them is necessary, let us all live a life worthy of such a loss. Join me now in a moment of silence as we honor our fallen heroes. Oh, 
Tucson, to all of those who gave their lives and those who bravely fought today, we thank you. Thank you for joining us today for our Memorial Day celebration. Please check your show schedules for all the wonderful things here to do at Old Tucson, where the spirit of the Old West comes out. <laughs> 